perfect. So that's what a lot of people think my days look like when I tell them I'm a TikToker or a content creator. Like for example, I just graduated and whenever somebody like my parents age would ask me, so are you going to college or university or what are you doing after you graduate? And every time I would get embarrassed because I tell them I'm continuing being a content creator. And most people like my parents age that sort of know me just think that I do TikTok and like I don't do YouTube or anything else. And at the start of the video, that's pretty much what they think I do in a day. So whenever I tell them that I could just feel in their brain that they're like laughing at me because they think that all I do is what I showed you guys at the start of the video. I made a day in the life video in 2020. I Again in 2021 and since in 2021 I was still going to school and now that I've graduated I decided I'll make one for 2022 now that I'm doing this full-time and first off I just want to say thank you guys because I wouldn't be able to do this full-time if it wasn't for you guys so I really appreciate every single one of you guys who watch my videos so some of you may be thinking Luke you wake up at 6 a.m. Oh, where's my phone here it is it is currently 11 13 look at that sick picture and again, thank you guys. Like, I want to thank you guys because if it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't have that vehicle and I love vehicles so much. So thank you guys. But to be fair, I woke up around half an hour ago. So around 1045 because I recorded that scene at the start. But my sleep schedule recently has been really bad. I've been going to bed in between three and four and waking up in between 10 and 11. And like a few months ago, whenever I'd wake up past 830, I would be so mad because I just feel like whenever I sleep in, I'm wasting part of the day. But I was also going to bed at like 1, 1 30 back then. And I was also going to school. So I like had to get up five days a week early, especially since I was in jazz band. I had to wake up at like 645. But it's also not that I'm like watching a season of Netflix every night. Like last night, I was about to go to bed early, trying to fix my sleep schedule. I will eventually. But then I remembered I had to make a thumbnail for the YouTube video that posted at 10 o'clock today. So by the time I finished that, it was around 3, 3.30. So that's when I went to bed. And I like to get my sleep because if I don't get enough sleep, my brain will be tired the whole day. And I also like to lift weights. And if you don't get lots of sleep, your muscles don't recover, right? So the first thing I do every morning, look at this, we're doing a vlog. This is another reason I wanted to record this video because I want to do a vlog. I haven't done many vlogs. And don't worry, I'll be back to reaction videos next week. I just, I want to change it up a little bit. So let's go say hi to my father. Say hi to the camera. Oh, hi. Hi. There you go. So I don't brush my teeth right away when I wake up. I always wait until I'm done eating breakfast. But I always go to the bathroom as soon as I wake up and I grab some water and wash my face. Grab a towel, wipe her down. And nine times out of ten, I always make a mess. So I actually, this is a day in the life, a real day in the life. So I'm not gonna wash that because normally I don't wash. Well, actually, 50% of the time I do. And the other 50%, my parents get mad at me, so I gotta wash it down. <laughs> So 99.9999% of the time, I have the exact same breakfast every single day. Around two cups of milk, give or take, because I've measured before and it's like around here. So like, this actually might be a bit over two cups. And with my milk, that's 320 calories and 18 grams of protein. And I also have this every morning, pure protein bar. We got 190 calories and 19 grams of protein. That's how you get swole. I love my parents so much. They do a lot for me. My dad is retired now and he's always at home. And since my job is from home as well and it involves recording, sometimes it's a little annoying, but it's okay, it's okay. So as soon as I get my breakfast, I usually come straight down onto my computer and get to work. There's the odd day, I'll be honest, cause this is a day in the life. It's not like a, well it is gonna be a productive day. This is probably one of my busiest days in the week. I have a few days where like, for example, today I'm recording a YouTube video. Well, actually I'm recording two YouTube videos, but later I'm recording a gaming YouTube video, which again, lots of people don't realize I have a gaming channel too, which takes time. But to be fair, it's a gaming video. So it's, it's playing a game. So like, it's fun too, right? But this is one of my more jam-packed days, so I wanted to record for you guys. But there's the odd day where I don't come straight downstairs. Sometimes I sit on the couch for a bit while I'm eating and then I come downstairs. And sometimes I do watch a couple of YouTube videos while I'm eating and then get to work. But today, since we're recording, we're just gonna get to work. So the most stressful part to me about being a content creator is figuring out what videos I'm gonna be posting every day. Because probably figuring out the videos takes longer than the actual filming takes, which lots of people don't realize. So if you guys are new here, or if you just don't know, I record two TikToks every single day. Well, I try to record two TikToks every single day. One for my facts channel where I do like interesting facts and storytelling and stuff like that. One for my main channel, which is technically this channel too. So I always say TikTok because I started on TikTok and that's like my biggest platform, but I upload them onto YouTube as well. And just recently, actually, I started uploading to Snapchat and Facebook, big Facebook here. But I always start off with the fact video, making the script for the fact video. So it is now 1130 and actually normally it would take longer, but last night when I was scrolling through YouTube, I came across a video and I was like, that would make a perfect video. It was like um, top 10 denied Shark Tank pitches that made millions of dollars or something like that. And that interested me. And whenever there's something that interested me, I feel like it'll interest you guys as well. So I'm gonna do some research on that topic. But like I said, I already know what video I'm gonna be making today, so it won't take as long. But on a normal day, I have to search through like articles, news, YouTube videos, just regular YouTube videos and stuff to try and find an interesting topic. But today we already got the topic, so I just gotta do some research and I'll create the script. So it's 11.30 right now. I'll meet you guys back once I've done this first script.
Here's what I mean by um, news articles. So look, we have a whole bunch of news articles on the same topic. They rejected Shark Tank products that are worth millions in 2021. Did you guys know that the ring doorbell was on Shark Tank? You learn something new every day. All right there, folks. I have just finished the first script of the day. We have the ring doorbell, the books. I think that's called the books. I'm gonna have to like figure out if that's actually how you pronounce it. Cause I don't wanna pronounce it wrong in the video. And then we have the bed jet. It is currently quarter after 12. Now, sometimes I would film right after, or sometimes I would start working on my second script of the day, which is for my main channel, this YouTube channel you guys are watching on, and for my main TikTok and stuff, which is what I'm gonna be doing today. So there's a few different ways that I like figure out what type of video I'm gonna be making. One is like when I'm scrolling through TikTok and I see like a trend, and I try and think of a way to like put a twist on it so it's like the trend, but it's like something unexpected happens. Or I see a meme that's like relatable, and then it like clicks in my brain a time back, like way a long time ago, that that happened to me, and I like recreate that scene that happened to me in my head. Then I make a script on that, but I can add to it to make it more funny. Or, which is what we're gonna be doing today, sitting back, relaxing, and picking the back of my brain back to when I was like just a wee young lad. Try to think of something that happened to me that's either funny, <laughs> relatable, that I think will have happened to some of you guys as well that you could relate to. And then once I find that, just like I said, I'm gonna add to it to make it a bit more funny. We're gonna start the time lapse here. I'm gonna sit back, relax. And it's gonna look like I'm sleeping, but I'm technically working, even though I'm like sleeping. But I'm using my big brain, so here we go. Wait, turn. Okay, here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Oh! Gosh, here we go. Oh, I forgot to say, sorry. Yeah, I'm thinking already. So sometimes it takes like 30 minutes to figure out a video and sometimes it takes like three hours. It just depends how fast something comes into my head. And you know what? Okay, now that you guys are like watching me, like now that I'm recording, that's all that I could think of. I feel like you guys are like watching my position. I can't think of anything else. So I'm just gonna turn you guys off for a second while I think. <laughs> I was just thinking again about this video. Now I can't stop thinking about this video. But again, another way that like stuff comes into my head is like literally just living life. <laughs> like one night when I was eating supper, not that long ago, a few nights ago, my, my parents were having a conversation. And when they were having a conversation, it clicked into my mind. What they said, I'm gonna make it to a video. And I'll put up the clip right here. Come on, come on. Yeah, let's go. Did they score? No! I'm just cheering for no reason. And that exact scene happened in real life. Not exactly like that, but my mom was doing something in the kitchen, my dad was watching a hockey game, and then he started going, Wow, let's go baby! And then my, my mom was like, oh, Did they score? And then my dad was like, Yeah. Or not exactly like, yeah. But like, he was like, Yeah, this happened, this happened. And I was just thinking in my head, No! He's just cheering for no reason. And then I made that into a video. <laughs> It's funny. So it's been about 15 minutes. I haven't made much progress yet, but my dad is cooking lunch. Whenever he has lunch, he always feeds the cats too. And I just wanted to show this to you guys because my cat is funny. My dad gives the cats two options of food and then it lets the cat pick which one they want. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Pick it up. Which one you want? Which one is it today? Which one you want? You sure? What about this one, Ray? What about this one? You know what that one? No, which one do you want, Ray? Okay, that's what Treats you get. Today, <laughs> Treats today. It's 10 to 1 now, and I still haven't really, I haven't thought of anything good yet, but the other day when I was trying to think of a video idea, this idea came into my brain, but because it's not really relatable, it happened to me, but I don't think it happened to anybody else. I didn't make a video on it. I just wrote it down just in case in the future I wanted to make a video, but I might do a video on it. I'm gonna explain it to you. This is gonna be like a story time now. I'm gonna tell you guys what the video idea is, and then after I sit out loud, maybe I'll be like, that'll actually make it for an entertaining video. So basically, oh, I hope my teacher doesn't watch this. Okay, I'm gonna say it in a way that even if the teacher does watch this, they won't know that it's them. Okay, one day we had a substitute and the teacher left the substitute instructions on how to do an assignment. So my friend and I finished the assignment and the next day when our teacher came back, we went to hand in the assignment and then the teacher said, we did it wrong. I'm not gonna say the exact assignment because the teacher will know that it's them if they're watching this video. I don't think they'll watch the video, but just in case. Let's say the instructions said, write an essay about yourself. Then the teacher basically said, no, you're supposed to write an essay on somebody else. And we were like, what the heck? That's not what the instructions say. The teacher told us to redo it. So we went and sat down and we're like, what the heck? Man. Then we see our teacher get up, go over to the wall where the substitute teacher put up the instructions on, and rips it down and throws it in the recycling bin. <laughs> So we did do it right, but the teacher just decided to throw out the instructions. I don't know. So I don't know if this would make for a good video or not. You know, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do this idea. So I'm gonna make it an actual script though. All right, there we go. We got two video ideas already. Usually that process takes a lot longer though, because like, for example, I already knew I was gonna do rejected Shark Tank pitches that made millions. And I technically already knew I was gonna do this. I already had the idea written down, so it didn't take as long as it usually does. So we're just gonna make the script now. I wasn't gonna add this into the video, but since it's a day in the life video, I might as well just show you guys everything, right? So like I said earlier, I made this thumbnail last night and the video was uploaded today at 10 a.m. 
but I just wanted to add a couple of things. So I have an arrow. Where'd the arrow go? There's the arrow. Okay. I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. I want to point to like right here because look, it looks like a Batman logo like this. It looks like this kind of, you see? Okay. Scratch that. We're not going to put that in. We're going to get this arrow in here. going to use this tool. We're going to go like this, select the subject, and then we're going to mask it to get rid of that background and boom. So now we just have the arrow. We're going to go here and we're going to put a drop shadow on it. And we're going to go color overlay. So it's red. Add some stroke. So there's this black line around it. And then I'm going to transform it and we're going to flip it vertically. So it's like this. We're going to make it a bit smaller and I'm going to go like that. There, something like this. I'm going to make that stroke a little bit less thick though. Does that look better? I think that looks better. So it's now 10 to 2 and I've just finished the script for my main channels. And now usually what I do after I'm done doing the scripts, I usually go and eat lunch. But a company that I've been working with for a brand deal wants me to change one scene in the video. Look at my cat. This cat just lays around so funny. She's always in the weirdest positions. <laughs> then over here, we have nibbles. We have this puzzle my mom's been working on. And then over here, we have Jag. How's it going, kitties? Loves when you rub under her chin. She also hits my head if I go like this, maybe. Oh, good thing I closed my eyes. Another reason I'm recording this now is because my dad just left the house for a bit. And that's the one thing I'd say the most annoying part. Like, I, again, I love my parents. They do so much for me. But like I said, since my dad's retired now, he's always at home. And so whenever I have to record a video upstairs, I either have to like kick him out of the house or I either just don't record the video. I like make it work downstairs. But this is going to be the first time I'm ever saying this on social media. I have just uh, only a couple days ago. I'm officially a house owner. And I want to say thank you guys because if it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't have been able to purchase a house. I won't be able to do this full time. So like you guys have literally changed my life and I just want to say thank you guys. You guys are literally making my dreams come true. So once again, thank you guys. But I don't get possession to the house for another month. And when I do get possession, I'll probably start like putting furniture and stuff in it. But I don't think I'll move in until around summertime. But when I do move in, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see a house tour. And once again, I want you guys to know that I'm grateful because literally like if it weren't for you guys, I just said this, but I want to say it again. If it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't have been able to purchase a house and most likely right now I would be going to college or university so thank you guys you guys are making my dreams come true and you guys have literally changed my life all right you guys are gonna get the behind the scenes so I have to put this oh crap what about the pants okay I have to watch the video because this video was recorded a while ago and I'm obviously not wearing the same outfit and this was the shirt I was wearing I just gotta figure out what pants I was wearing all right we got the pants on I got the same shirt on and you guys are gonna get the behind the scenes all right that scene is done I think that was first try. Usually it doesn't take first try, but that one was first try. The next scene is inside now. Crap, I have to redo that because my the face filter was off. <laughs> I'm using a Snapchat filter. And that's another thing, guys. One of my neighbors is out walking. I'm obviously not going to film this video when someone's outside walking. <laughs> a couple more scenes and it's time for lunch. This is the Snapchat filter I was talking about if you guys weren't sure. I don't know why I've been using that one a whole bunch lately. I just, I love that filter. I don't know why. But I decided instead of eating that I would just get this video out of the way. And so I just re-edited it and now I'm going to send it to my manager. And now it is 2.40. So let's have some lunch. Where is the bacon? Oh, baby, I got the bacon. And then we need some turkey. No, we don't have turkey. We're gonna go with this one. And then two slices of cheese and some milk. So the reason I'm upset that we don't have turkey is because you see this, this edging? For some reason, whenever I eat that edge, like the edges, I don't even know what you call that. The, it's like the crust, except it's not bread. <laughs> It like makes me gag. So I always have to peel that part off, but the turkey comes with that peeled off already and it saves a bunch of time, but it's okay. Wash your hands first, guys. All right, cooking with Luke. All right, let's get some bread here. Boom, boom. I always like to have this meal on Monday because on Sunday we usually have bacon. So we have bacon for my sandwiches. All right, so we have, what is it called? It's called compliments smoked chicken breast roast. So we get our piece out here and we have the edges. So I'm gonna have to go through all of the pieces. I mean, I don't have to do this. I just choose to do it. And I'm gonna just put it in the garbage. <laughs> One piece done. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this live on camera. Ugh. I was about to say, maybe I'll eat it with the stuff on it, but oh man, it just makes me gay. All right, we got four slices on this one. Now I'm gonna do the exact same with the other side. Now for the delicious bacon. Just throw in a couple slices here. Boom, boom. All right, looking juicy. Now we get our cheese. Boom. All right, now. This is a quick tip for you guys. What I always do is I get the cheese wrapper and I put one sandwich on top and I stick this one in the fridge because I heat them up. And if I heat them both up at the same time, by the time I'm done eating one, the other one is cold. So I'm just gonna put this away. And then we're gonna take this one. Hey kitty, how's it going? You already got your food no more. I don't know what I'm talking like that. Put this one in here and okay, guys. We don't put it in for 30 seconds, we put it in for 35. That's right. Oh, I don't know what that noise was. Usually when I eat, I watch YouTube on my phone and once my um, stomach has absorbed all the food, I'll pick up the camera. Again. Hi. Hi. Scared me. You're home early. Yeah, a little bit, but then I'm gonna. I'm leaving right away to go for my massage. 
Hey, hi. Hi. It's 3.30 right now and it's time to get filming. So first off, it depends on the day. Sometimes I do the like comedy slash relatable one for my main channel first. And sometimes I do the second channel first. And that's what we're going to be doing today. So right up here, we have the green screen. All you gotta do is pull it down and boom, bedroom turns into studio. I really like this, how it's like attached to the ceiling because when I'm not using it, you, you like can't even tell it's in the room. And then what I was doing is I was putting this up right here. I was putting my piano bench, which my mom is using for the piano, if you guys seen earlier. But then I put the bench here, put my phone in here, put the ring light on. I put my script here. I move this out a bit so I can read it. I turn up the font size so it's nice and big and then I record the videos there. But just recently, literally yesterday, <laughs> I was watching my content creator friend, Josh Little J on TikTok. He just popped up and I was like, that's so genius. What he does is he sits in his chair, puts the camera here and then uses this microphone. So it's like I'm recording a reaction video, but all I do is I pull down the green screen and then I edit it as a TikTok. It's just genius. So shout out to Josh Little J. So right now you guys are in the spot I was just telling you guys about. This is where I record my reaction videos and now this is where I'm gonna me recording a fact video. So what I do is I just zoom in so you can only see the green screen. Boom. And I start recording the audio with this microphone. And then my script is right here. And then I start filming. You guys are going to get like a little behind the scenes. Well, it's not behind the scenes because that would be like over here. You guys are going to get an unedited video. That's what you guys can get. So right now on this monitor, you guys can't see that. But on this monitor, I'm recording the audio through this microphone. Right now, you guys are hearing the audio from my camera's microphone. But this microphone is like a studio microphone. Like it has to be close to your mouth. So I can't put this one on there. But we're going to switch to this microphone. You guys will be able to hear the difference. Maybe, I don't know, maybe they sound the same. Okay, in three, two, one, boom. Now we are talking through this microphone. And from now on, this microphone and this camera and this setup is how I'm gonna be filming the fact video. So let's just get right into it. I'm gonna use this clip. Okay, the first thing, I got my script here. Three rejected Shark Tank pitches that made millions. That's the title. So here we go. I might myself a whole bunch. I usually do. I always go, <clears throat> I don't know why I go like this now, but I always go, <clears throat> <clears throat> I always clear my throat. I don't have to clear my throat. It's a habit now and it's really annoying. But okay, right, hey, now I'm gonna do it and it's gonna make me laugh because I just told you guys about it. Okay. <clears throat> three re <clears throat> three rejected. Nope. That's again. I could just keep going, but I, my brain's like, stop, Luke. That was wrong. Even though it was right. <clears throat> three rejected char. <clears throat> three re Three were deck. That's how it sounded to me. So I'm gonna redo it again. <clears throat> nope. My clearing the throat was off, so I have to restart. <clears throat> Three rejected Shark Tank pitches? No, no. You're too fast, Luke. Calm down. Okay. <clears throat> Three. <clears throat> I'm just thinking. I'm, I've am i already been recording for four minutes, so we're not going to add all of this in. But just to let you guys know, I messed up a bunch more than you're going to see. Three rejected Shark Tank pitches that made millions. Boom! That's the one. That's the one. That's the one right there. All right. I'll talk to you guys when I'm done. It's just about four o'clock now. It didn't actually take that long. Huge shout out to Josh because that it actually saves a lot of time just sitting in this chair instead of setting everything else up. And I'm, now I'm about to film the comedy video or relatable video. I do comedy because some people say those aren't funny, you know, like what the haters and stuff, but whatever. But Shane Nagy, another content creator, messaged me and asked if I could call him. So I'm going to call him and see if he answers on camera. <laughs> Shane Yo, Nagy. What is up, baby? Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? How we doing? What are you on live or something? No, I'm um, I'm making a day in the life video. Got you. Okay, cool. All right, it is now 4.47. I guess it's been like an hour. I just got off the phone with Shane Nagy. He's a nice man. I actually have to shoot one scene for him. He gave me one line that he wants to add into one of his videos, so I'm gonna film that quickly. But first, I just got a text from my editor. Oh yeah, once again, that's another thing. Huge shout out to Juan. Juan, say hi. Hello. He's editing this video right now. But um, before when I didn't have an editor for YouTube, I found it stressful because I had to like spend the whole day editing a YouTube video and then also film my TikTok. So I decided I needed to get an editor. And plus Juan, he's like, as you can tell from this video, his editing is 10 million trillion times better than mine ever will, will be. <laughs> so he showed it to Juan. The links to his socials is always in the description below if you guys want to check out his work. But he just sent me an intro for my newest YouTube channel called Luke's Garage. So if you guys don't know, I love vehicles. That's like one of my passions is like modifying cars and stuff. So I decided to just make a YouTube channel about it. And he sent me the intro for the first video, so let's check it out. Also, I have this big water bottle. Look how big it is. It's 3.7 liters because I used to be bad at drinking water. Like I would literally drink three sips of water a day. Like that's really bad. I need to drink more. So I bought this big water bottle so I could fill it up in the morning. And if I drink it all, I know I'm drinking enough because this thing's massive. All right, here we are. You guys aren't going to get audio because you have to watch the video to find out. I'm going to get the audio. Let me put the headset on. All right, you guys will get to see it though. Oh, look at, look at, look at that. <laughs> I know I'm laughing. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> I didn't even know I sent him that last clip. 
<laughs> I didn't even mean to send him the last clip. I just meant to send him the vehicles of like the B-roll, not the drive-by clip, but that works, that works. The reason I was laughing is because like all the noises he put in. But if you guys want to see that video, it'll be on my YouTube channel called Luke's Garage. The link to the channel will be in the description below. I don't know when the video will be posted, but it might already be posted by the time I post this. All right, so for this collab, he wants me to use my gold play button. And once again, guys, thank you guys literally for everything. Once again, I just, I want to keep thanking you guys because literally I wouldn't be able to do this if it weren't for you guys. I just recently got this golden play button. This is for my second YouTube channel, which is crazy to think about. When I was a little kid, my dream was to get the 100K subscriber plaque. But like, it was a dream. Like, I never thought in a million years I would ever get that. And then we got that. And then we got for my main channel, the gold one. And now we have a second one. So thank you guys so much. Like literally, I, I just want you guys to know that I'm really thankful for you guys. So he wants me to say, this collab is actually for one of the series that he started based on the series that I have, like the dumb things people say. So I'm supposed to ask him, like say something to him, like a question. And he's supposed to reply with, no. Like the one that I showed you guys at the start of the video. And he started doing a series, but I'm pretty sure I'm in all of them because he got the idea from me. So he wants me to be in them. So he sent me the script. And so I'm gonna film the video for him. So you guys to get the behind the scenes. All right, he wants me to say, Shane Nagy, did you get the gold play button too because he just got his recently and then he's gonna reply with something sarcastic <laughs> Shane Nagy again with the <clears throat> like I said earlier it's a habit I don't know why I don't have to clear my throat but it's just a habit Shane Nagy I just got my gold play button did you get yours too I'm gonna send that to him and I think that should be good one thing I'm really looking forward to about the new house well there's a ton about the house but one of the things is to have one room as an office so like right now my bed is in here and this takes up like half of the room so whenever I have to move stuff around like I'm gonna have to now it's kind of annoying because I gotta like move my chair and stuff whereas if I had my own office I would have like a, my whole little area for recording. All right, now let's get the outfit on. We got the Luke Davidson merch hoodie. Link down below in the description down below. Link down below in the description down below. Okay, it works. <laughs> Put this on. This is always the um, the mom slash teacher outfit. And then this shirt that doesn't fit me anymore. I got this when I was in the mountains one time. I think I wore it once and ever since I've used it as a wig. So. And I don't think I'll ever wear an actual wig, even though I could buy one. This is just iconic. I don't know. And then I had my dad's old broken glasses and he actually gave me new glasses to use. <laughs> but these ones don't have lenses in them and the other ones have lenses and the glare from the light is really annoying, so I just wear these ones. So the first line, I have my script on the computer screen, is the substitute teacher. I'm the substitute teacher today. I gotta figure out like where everything's gonna be because I don't have much room to work with. This is another reason I'm looking forward to having a big room. So I gotta make everything work. So the teachers has to be in an area and the students have to walk up to the teacher, so I have to like make it look like that's actually happening. Even though in reality, my room is like this much room to work with, so I kind of have to like play with the camera to make it look like that's what's happening. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be over there as the teacher, actually. I use these same papers for every time I need paper. I got beautiful on one, got a whole bunch of things on the other one. Five plus 12, that does not say five plus 12, but it's a math question. <clears throat> so your teacher, I'm already mad. I took one take and I'm already mad. When I'm recording, I get mad because I just want to express my words, but my brain doesn't let me express the words so that I spend 50 hours on one line. <clears throat> okay, here we go. <clears throat> again, every single second. Okay. <clears throat> so your teacher, I don't know what I'm supposed to say again. <clears throat> so your teacher left me with the assignment that you guys have to work on today. Boom! And then it's gonna switch to the kids and they're gonna be like, <sighs> and it's gonna give me time to not have to say all this in the same line. And then I say, so basically, it says you have to write an essay about yourself. I could kind of like go improv on that. So basically, it says you have to write an essay about yourself. And I'm gonna tape this on the wall if you guys wanna take a look. Boom! My camera is blinking red, so it's almost dead. So I'm gonna plug in the camera while I finish off the video. And it's now just about 6.30 and I just finished filming. Now I'm transferring all the files over to my computer. We have 730 megabytes. I hope I didn't miss anything. Lots of times what happens is I'm editing it and then I'm missing one clip so I have to set up everything again. But I think we should be good. And then I'll show you guys the finished results. I lied, it's two minutes later. I just went to the bathroom before I started editing. But my parents told me they're gonna start eating. We're having leftovers from last night. But that is one thing that I'm gonna miss once I move out is that yeah, I'm thankful for my parents because they do lots for me, like I said earlier. But one of the things is they cook me supper every night. When I move out, I'm gonna obviously have to cook my own supper. So I'm gonna go eat. We're having chicken, potato, and gravy then I'll update you guys when I start editing again okay supper is done I just devoured that meal it's like five to seven so I'm going to edit this video I want to show you guys some of the editing process so each one of these boxes is a clip and if I zoom into one of the clips here as you can see up top all of these noise level thingies is noise <laughs> so right here is my first attempt my second attempt my third attempt my fourth attempt and then at the very end when I end the video that's the final attempt the one that I like like my good take so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through all of this picking out the last take of each one so it all flows together I clip the ending I'm obviously gonna go watch it and make sure I clipped in the right spots, but then I delete the outside so that we just have the good clip. All right, so now that it's all in order, we got all the clips and stuff in place, I'm gonna start adding some effects and then the music and then the cap. So here's the first effect I'm gonna add. So look, it's a green screen clock that I downloaded from YouTube, right? And if I take this effect called Ultra Key and I drag it over top, then I grab the little thing to choose the color, I pick green, 
Boom, now we just got that. So then whatever I put it over, it'll show the clock. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add a couple little effects. I'm gonna add the music, the captions, and you guys will see the finished result. Ugh, I spoke too soon, <laughs> but this is what happens. It's a day in the life. Might as well just show you guys everything. I missed one more line and I have to say, what? But I gotta put that same outfit on again, set everything up, so yeah, okay. This next clip will be the finished result. So your teacher left me with the assignment that you guys have to work on today. It says you have to write an essay about yourself, and I'm gonna tape this on the wall if you guys wanna take a look. Why don't we finish as fast as possible so we can go play on the computers? <gasps> That's a good idea! We're done. Well done, boys. Keep those somewhere safe so you can give them to Mr. Luke tomorrow. Now you guys can play on the computers for the rest of the class. Yes! Let's go, baby! Good morning, class. You guys can continue working on the assignment from yesterday. Let's go hand them in. Yes, boys? We're done. You're done already? This isn't what you're supposed to do. What do you mean? You were supposed to write an essay about someone else. What? Now go redo it. What the heck? That's not what the instructions said. So I've cut up all the clips so they flow like I showed you guys in the last video. But now, since we have a green screen in the back, I have a preset that I made so I could just go like this and drag it to all the footage and boom, the background has disappeared. So now if I drag a picture over top of it, sorry, below it, I need to move this, I could expand the picture and it'll be behind me. So I'm gonna add all the pictures, add the music, and I'll see you guys once again once I'm done. Oh, actually first, right after this, I'm gonna lift weights. That's right, guys, I'm a big weightlifter. No, okay, I'm gonna expose myself. I'm gonna put up a picture of what I used to look like before I started lifting weights. I'd say there's a pretty big difference, I don't know, I don't know. But, we got this, another protein bar. Has 20 grams of protein, around I think like 280 calories. And has lots of carbs, which is good for a pre-workout snack. It's now shortly after 10 and I just finished editing it. Three rejected Shark Tank pitches that made millions. First off, we have the Ring Doorbell. So if you don't know what it is, it's a doorbell that has a camera on it. And whenever it detects motion or someone rings the doorbell, it sends a notification to your phone, where you can then go onto the app and see them or even talk to them. When Jamie Siminoff appeared on the show, the company was worth $7 million. Now the company doesn't just make doorbells, but they also make home security systems and a bunch more. Amazon gave them $1 billion to have their items on their website. The Books is an online flower delivery service. In 2014, they left Shark Tank without an investor. But three years later, one of the sharks needed flowers for his wedding and ended up using the service. After that, he ended up investing in them. And in 2017, they sold $1 million of flowers in just one day. Finally, the bed jet is placed under your covers and allows you to change the temperature, rather than changing it for your whole house, which costs more money. But since he had no sales, all the sharks were out. When he released it to the market, he sold three million dollars worth in his first month so what i always do is i never make that video for the day that made no sense okay i always make that video for the next day so right now i'm scheduling it for march 1st which is tomorrow at 12 p.m and then what i do is i don't know why i do it like this but then i post it on tiktok tonight I don't know. but the only time that i don't upload it the next day is and this is gonna be like a motivational speech for you guys well actually i don't know how motivational it'd be but sometimes i edit them the day of that i'm posting because the day before i didn't do it and usually when i don't do it the day before that is because i'm having fun and this is just a, this is a life lesson for you guys you gotta have fun right and this goes into the next thing so usually i lift weights six days a week but sometimes it's five days and you know why because sometimes i don't lift weights and i have fun which is okay guys it's okay to have fun every once in a while so usually the day that i miss is always a saturday so i do the five days in the week and on saturday if i go out with my friends sometimes i don't have enough time to lift weights because i, I firstly i want to focus on getting all my work done for the day and then sometimes i just don't have enough time for lifting weights which it's okay guys because again you gotta have fun and especially now that i have a house and the house is a 11 hours away from where I live right now. So I won't be able to see my friends very often. So it's good to spend time with my friends while I still can before I move away. And I won't be able to like drive a couple minutes to see them. So yeah. So I'm only gonna show you guys a few of the sets. And yes, I have gloves on. Only with this bar that I'm gonna be using because it hurts so bad. All the other bars I don't use gloves, it hurts. <laughs> All right, now we're on the phone because my camera battery is charging because I need to use it after. So I got my sick gear on. Whew. And today is pull day. I do pull, push legs, pull, push legs, rest. Or like I said, I don't do the sixth day. So today is pull. And if you guys don't know what that means, sorry, I'm whispering because my parents are going to be listening to me and they're like, why are you talking to yourself? Even though they know I'm making a YouTube video, but it's okay. It's all the pulling movements. So like, yeah, basically everything that pulls, okay? And then push is push and then legs is legs. And the reason you do push, pull legs, well, the reason I do it and other people do it is because all the pulling movements use the same muscles. So biceps and back, where all the pushing ones use triceps, shoulders, and chest. And then legs use legs, obviously. So let's get started.
So I just finished lifting weights and having a shower. And while I was lifting weights, I do want to say that I was watching YouTube videos and scrolling through TikTok in between sets because I don't want to make it seem like, oh, grind, 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 grind. No relaxing. So like I was watching YouTube, so I was kind of like relaxing while I was lifting weights too. But now it is 12.48. I'm going to record a YouTube video for my gaming channel. And so it depends on like what kind of video I'm making, like on how long it takes to prepare. But I kind of got a good idea of what video I'm going to make, so it won't take too long to prepare. But once I do get it all good to go and I'm going to start recording, I'm going to use this angle as a behind the scenes. And then we're going to show what the edited version looks like right after it. <clears throat> Minecraft but breeding gives creative mode. Minecraft but breeding gives creative mode. And on top of that, I'm going to set a rule that I can't mine anything, so I have to get everything from creative mode. But it only gives us three seconds per breed, so we got to be quick. And let's see if we can defeat the end dragon. But first, before we start, I got to give a huge shout out to Yoyus. He's the one that made this mod, and I'll link his YouTube channel down below. YouTube channel down below. Boom, bada bang. It's currently 2.40 a.m. I just finished the gaming video and I always send the video at nighttime. Like I leave my computer on overnight because look at 25 gigabytes and it takes forever. <laughs> but now we're done for the day. I have two options though. I could go to bed right now and wake up somewhat early to what I've been waking up lately or I could watch YouTube for like 30 minutes to an hour. Oh, actually, but wait first. Every night for the past few months anyway, I have this. I'll put all the ingredients up right here. 1,000 calories and I think like 50 grams of protein or something like that. Shout out to my dad. He made this for me tonight. I would have showed you guys me making it but my mom went to bed while I was lifting weights and the blender is really loud so he made this for me so thank you dad but I guess I can go to sleep now because I got to drink this thing this thing takes a long time to drink so I that's an excuse I get to watch some YouTube videos but that just means my sleep schedule will be messed up still so yeah whatever <laughs> and obviously every single day isn't like this like I don't make YouTube videos every single day it all depends sometimes the TikToks take longer to make sometimes they're shorter like today's TikTok I think was around 50 seconds after it's fully edited but if I make like a 10 second one that obviously doesn't take as long sometimes I have to do brand deals some days I don't some days I have meetings some days I don't so every day is different but here was like a pretty busy day for me so i guess that concludes a day in the life of a content creator 2022 but every content creator's day is different like if you're a streamer it'll look completely different than mine i'm guessing so that's a day in the life with luke davidson i guess one more thing i don't know if you guys care about this but if i ever know that i'm gonna be gone like for example tomorrow if i know that i won't be at home and i can't record any videos then i always try to make videos today or like the day before so it'd be today for tomorrow's videos i hate missing uploads for you guys i always feel guilty i just feel bad that i don't have a video for you guys to upload but sometimes there's days that i just physically can't upload like if I'm sick or something or if I just I don't have enough time to make videos for the next day and sometimes guys it's good to take a break not just with like this well like with anything it's good to take a break so on some Sundays I just it's a lazy day I sit around because I don't I never lift weights on Sundays either so yeah but once again I want to thank you guys because if it weren't for you guys supporting me and watching my videos I wouldn't be able to do this and like I said earlier you guys are making my dreams come true I want to thank you guys as much as I can because like I know I just said this but literally I would not be able to do this if you guys didn't watch my video so thank you <laughs> but anyway that's gonna be it for today's video if you guys enjoyed it make sure you slap the forget my outro slap the like button subscribe if you're not already turn on post notifications so you never miss another episode and I'll see you guys in the next one peace